Hi there, we are back at Goodwill. Let's see what we can find. We're back at Wells. Do what you reading? <laughs> We're back at Wellsboro. There's no music playing, which is kind of weird. Um, here, this really neat tiki mug is pretty cool. Jimmy found this, which I like that. That's really neat. A dollar forty-nine. And then I like this because of the color. And this is really pretty. And these were here last time, so we're winning again. It's neat. Um, I mean, some people are into oh, that. I know. Turn on the bottom. Where's it? Car. This is a cool skull. This is not. Yeah. Hmm? Or, no, this is Indiana. That's Indiana. Yes, I'm, you say me? I said Pennsylvania. Oh, Pennsylvania? I forgot what my state looks like. Well, yeah. Oh, it's a little pan. That's cute. Oh, it has a chip right there. There's a chip there. Oh, a big chip right there. Darn. to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. A banana. This one's made in Japan. That's sweet. Oh, it's a candle. I like that. I'm going to get this one. This one's this made one. in Japan. Morning. Oh, it's smaller. It's smaller than the other one. I was looking at this. Arabia, Finland. That's neat. There's another one. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Can you? No. Can you hold this? Wait, film you? I'm just gonna, I'm just here. You don't need to hold it. What? I just want to see if this works. Oh, it does. Oh, that's cute. He's selling flowers. My dad worked in San Francisco and he would bring my mom home flowers from time to time. Mm. That's really sweet. I like that. Come here. 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 Come Oh. oh, it's a little shelf sitter. That's cute. It sits here. Are you not broke? Oh, he it was beheaded. And it was fixed. Oh, we'll stick you right here. 25. It's a little picky. What's this one? 
Oh, two little piggy. Look, Jimmy. Piggy. Shot glasses. What's this? Is this a bun warmer? Yes. It's to keep your buns warm. Put that down there. Happy anniversary. Louisville. Carlton Ware. I'm putting that back because it says happy anniversary. Poor Dodico Bell. It's a Yankee candle tar warmer. That's pretty. It says it's like it says attack cat. Or oh, are there more of those? That's cute. Jimmy found this. Let's see if we can find more. Unfortunately, I couldn't find another one that matched it. I really like the look of it. I don't know if it's made by Anchor Hawking because there is no mark. And when I Google lens the picture quite a few different names came up but it is in really good shape someone might need a replacement and that is why i bought it this one says big wrangler i thought that was different so that's why i picked that one up as well whistle what your whistle hmm? whistle for your beer and this is old too think of me Family, faith, friends, a bunch of this stuff. Hmm. That's cute. Back here. This. This one here. Look at that. That's really cute. Look at that. That's really cute. I like that. I try to steer clear of large serving platters, but with the holidays coming up, to me this really looked like it was old because of the style of it, and it turns out it is. It has some crazing, but there are no chips to it. And so I might have to build a box. It's okay. <laughs> it was only one kind of weird size piece that I picked up, but it was priced right and it was in good condition. And while I was down there, I was poking around seeing what else. I thought that this might be Port Marion. It's not. It's marked Queen's Royal Horticultural Society Hooker's Fruit. This has the pears on it. They don't sell for crazy, crazy money, but again, with the holidays coming up and it's in really good shape. And I first thought that these were plastic and it was the colorway really 80s vibe was pushing off on me and they're not they're made for they were made for pier one imports and i thought those were fantastic and they were also again priced right so i decided to pick up a whole bunch of dishes looking back i don't know if i would have picked them up if i hadn't seen the maker's sticker maybe i would have because the of the price was right i really like the 80s vibe that they were giving off so i think yeah, even if it is, it's a kind of a bonus that they have the sticker on them. But uh, yeah, I think I would have picked them up even if I didn't know who made them. We're over in the wood section, and for some reason, this little picture really drew my attention. I would like to get it out of the frame to see what's going on with it because it is marked from the 1970s. And here I am looking at some other artwork. I do find a really, really nice piece here. So I'll. Uh, Stop talking at you and let you shop along with me.
What's this? It's a penguin. It's like a penguin. Oh, look. I won. I won and I didn't even know it. Hmm. Let's see. Where can we stick this over here? Hmm. That's cute. It's a hand painted rooster. <laughs> Easter surprise in mine. Easter surprise. Well, it's neat looking. Like for like a farmhouse like display. Yeah. I think that's neat. And it's marked on the bottom. I think it's neat. Burger press. See what that is? To make hamburgers. It is. Okay. It's a thing. It's pretty. Isn't that pretty? This is the big piece that I said that I found in the wood section. I thought that this was so pretty. The cross with the angel, it's signed on the back. It's marked from 2019 along with the signature of the artist. It has those little attached uh, berries on there. I don't know if the new owner will be able to remove them, but I'm gonna keep them on. Uh, we'll have to build a big box, but that's okay. It's so pretty. Look at the graphics on this. Food tastes better with Vita Saver. <laughs> I like the graphics on it. Oh, here's a clay tissue. This matches that other thing I got here. That's just um, for trading cards. Jenny has those. This looks like the vase that I got. It matches that vase I got. Last time we were here. Do you remember? What is this? Like it's a wreath of birds or something. I don't know if it works though. These are old. Not that. These. Those are really old. How much are those? Dollar ninety-nine. Those are really old. Those are neat. I was super excited to find this wreath. I do think it's a hobbyist piece. It is not marked on the bottom, but it's giving off hobbyist uh, vibes. And then we're gonna wrap up our trip to Goodwill. With this piece, it did have a lot of chipping on it. If it didn't have the chipping, I probably would have picked it up. I hope you enjoyed this trip to Goodwill. And now a special announcement. 
Hi there, with the holidays coming up, I've had quite a few requests to make the shirt, that the original Fine Pig Thrift shirt, live, and I have made that live on Bonfire, so you can go over to bonfire.com, the link is in the description of this video, to purchase the Flying Pig Thrift shirt. This was designed by Jenny, so, and I know a lot of you um, really enjoyed it, and maybe you would like to buy some for upcoming holiday gifts. There's sweatshirts, t-shirts, tank tops, available. And, in on, <laughs> And I have another announcement. And besides making this shirt live, I have another announcement. I designed this shirt in honor of our 30,000 subscribers. If you are a repeat customer on my eBay store, this might look familiar to you. You get this on the little cards that I include in every purchase. This has also been a little bit, um, you've seen this with a bigger pig. Uh, the opening of all the recent videos. So this is your own thrifting crew. This will be available for a limited time. It will be available until November 15th through Bonfire again, and then they will start shipping them out once they get all the orders in. We also have another exciting announcement. For every purchase of this campaign only, of this design only, your name will be entered to win a set of wooden utensils from my cousin's wood company. You've seen me highlight them before. I've made a couple video, videos on them highlighting their home business, their small business. They recently had twins, so we have two sets to give away. We have a spurtle, and we also have an all-purpose utensil. I use this all the time, and I also have this. One set will become, come in cherry, one set will come in black walnut. It's that old adage, you get what you get and you don't get upset. One person will win the cherry, one person will win the black walnut. It will be one entry per household, so if you are super generous and buy more than one item from this campaign, it will only be one entry into the big hat to win either this set or this set. We will be pulling two names after the campaign ends and we will be contacting you about uh, your mailing address of who to send this to. So I appreciate again your support of my channel by purchasing the new merchandise and if you would like to purchase the original artwork that Jenny drew or one that I drew, uh, the link is in the description below. Thank you so much. More details, if you weren't quite sure what the rules were that are applying to this giveaway, are in the description below. Here's everything else that I picked up on this trip to the Wellsboro Goodwill. Thank you so much for your support of my channel. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see ya!